Hello, this is Gary007 and welcome to my channel of Avorian. So uh, this is a little, this is a beginner's build guide. Uh, this is a little bit left the field. So I'll try and show you in this demonstration. Uh, I am going to try and merge blocks and I want to do this on purpose. It's normally when you're doing a build, you try to stay away from this, but in some instances it's worthwhile doing. So I'll just try and demonstrate to you what I'm trying to do here. Just make sure your mirrors are centered around your beginning block when you do this. So I'm just going to try and merge them in. So as you can see, there's a um, you're allowed 25 25 percent overlay. I think it is. Now these are assembly blocks. These are probably a good example that you could do with, do this with. Delete the back. Now if we were just try to slap blocks on top of this, you're going to run into a bit of a problem. It's a little bit difficult to try and merge blocks. See these two blocks aren't merged. Part of this build is merged, another part isn't. So I'll ta I'll show you how to get around this. Copy and paste. Now we might have to adjust the root block to one of the top corners or inside corner sorry yeah see so that looks like it crossed this cross section went all right so as you can see, there's 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 an overlap. What this does is reduces the space that it needs to um, operate. So you can you can put this in smaller and smaller ships if you're tight for space, or on a station, small stations, and still get the same sort of processing power or whatever it is that you the block requires. You can always change the block. So how I'm doing this is. Um, well, I'm just rotating it, just going in a different direction if you needed to. And I'm just going to try and merge these blocks together. Yeah. If you know of a quicker way, I'd be grateful to hear how you guys merge blocks. But this is about the quickest way I can think of when it comes to trying to reduce block size. So as you can see... Um, you could probably go as far as possible. It will reject it if if, if you don't quite get it right. It'll let, you know, as you know, it'll, one side will um, um, stick, and the other side will be rejected because it's too much of an overlap. And we just keep deleting behind us as we do this, and that leaves us with our block. So. As you can see, there, there seems to be um, quite a bit of um, overlap going, which is what we want. Nem normally, these over overlap blocks would sit inside like a station or your spaceship or whatever. So you won't see them flickering. You can hide them. Let's try and get this one right. There you go. Now these are two by two by two blocks. So um, something to think about when it comes to merging blocks like this. If you put this in a spaceship, uh, don't merge the whole spaceship because you'll merge all of those um, assembly blocks at once. And I'll show you sort of as an example. These are these blocks aren't merged. They're all two by two by two blocks um, by four high length width 
So if we this is the exact same block, right? This is an example. This is the exact same block, but with the merging that we're doing, condensing. So as you can see, there's there's a significant uh, size difference going on. And the bigger you get in your ship, the more the size difference is more apparent. Uh, you can improve on this if you want. You can really have a real hot go at trying to um, merge blocks as much as possible. Um, see how, how far you get and let me know in the comment section. Uh, but I thought I might just share this. Uh, I don't see an example online, so I thought oh, I might as well put one out there. <laughs> uh, just a quick heads up too for uh, you new guys out there. Uh, when it comes to hangers, um, fighter hangers, you don't have to have all um, the fighter hanger, one big hanger. Um, you can split up your hangers inside your spaceship. So you can actually have hangers inside your ship act as a storage. And then you can have um, like your other hangers hang um, on the outside of the ship that you want your fighters to um, go in and out of the base. So I've got two hangers sitting inside the ship. They just act uh, just like storage so that I've got it stores all my fighters basically. So you can split up your hangers if you want to. Uh, it's um, I do this on all of my ships. This is just a small example because this is not a dedicated. Um, uh, it's not a dedicated. I wouldn't say aircraft, a space air, uh, aircraft carrier type thing. It's it's not that sort of spaceship. It's sort of a, it's a um, all-purpose um, ship. So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, just a little bonus tip there uh, for you new guys that you can build your hangers inside the spaceship and just have um, other small hangers uh, wherever you want to put them on the outside of the ship. So yeah, that's sort of just a quick tip I wanted to share with you guys. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments section. Please leave a like, hit the subscribe button. Um, it really help me out in my little channel. And um, yeah, all right. See you in the galaxy. Bye. <laughs>